Now student, it's a turn for question number 28. This question states which of the following is incorrectly matched. Let's have a look. Corrosion of iron or the rusting of iron. In this case, the substance formed after rusting or the rust is Fe2O3.xH2. That is correct and it is correctly matched basically. Now, corrosion of copper, formation of basic copper carbonate, CuCO3.CuOH whole twice, basic copper carbonate. This is also correct. If I talk about gold, it does not corrode and it will not react with oxygen and moisture. It means this is incorrect match. I'll just mark a cross over here. Further, corrosion of silver. After corrosion of silver, there is a formation of a black colored compound that is silver sulfide. It is also correctly given. What we need to find? Incorrectly matched option. That is option 3. Definitely option 3 becomes the correct answer for this question. Now, the turn is for question number 29. Let's have a look. Consider the box given below. We have a box in which certain metals are given. The question is total number of metals which do not react with either cold water or hot water. Very simple. If I talk about aluminium, it reacts with steam, not with hot or cold water. So this is one metal. Further, potassium. Potassium is highly reactive metal and it can even react with moisture. It can react easily with the cold water also and releases hydrogen gas. Further, zinc. Zinc reacts with steam. It does not react with hot or cold water. So, I'll mark a tick over here. Further, calcium. Calcium is also a reactive metal. It can even react with cold water also. Further, iron. Iron does not react with hot or cold water, but it reacts with steam to form hydrogen gas. So, in this case, iron is also that element, that metal. Further, magnesium. Magnesium reacts with hot water and sodium is more reactive it reacts with cold water also on that basis the total number of the metal which do not react either with cold or hot water is three and we we'll choose option one as the correct answer on the basis of this i hope it is clear and yes it's a turn for the last question of the chemistry section of anthe 2019 have a look on that Consider the following flowchart. We have metal ores. Now, we have metals classified on the basis of their reactivity. Metals with high reactivity, metals with medium or the moderate reactivity and metals of least reactivity. If I talk about metals of high reactivity, they can be converted into pure metal, process of metallurgy it is and the process is why? We know that if I talk about metals of high reactivity, the only way to obtain their pure form is electrolysis. So very simple, I'll just mark this Y is the process of electrolysis, clear? Now, metals of medium reactivity we have and these can be of two types. One is the metal ore that is carbonate ore. Other is the metals which are present in the form of sulphide ore. If carbonate ore is there, we heat metal in absence or in limited supply of oxygen. And the method that we use here is called calcination. So this Z is calcination process. This results in the formation of oxide of metal. And after reduction, you will obtain the metal that is purified further. So in this case, calcination is the method further. If you have sulphide ore of that metal, what you will do? You just roast it. The process is roasting. In the presence of oxygen supply, metal ore is heated. So this X is basically the process of roasting. Now. This is also X. Similarly, if you have the sulphide ore of the metals of least reactivity, then also the process of roasting occurs. So we have identified all of these. See, X is roasting, Z is calcination and we have identified Y as electrolysis. 
So, three methods are there. See, on the basis of that, you need to identify x, y, and z, and you need to just check which option is correct. If you look at the given option, in the first option, it's given x is roasting. Yes, we have already identified x is the roasting process. Y is electrolysis for the pure metal. For the highly reactive metals, we use electrolysis method. Y is also correct. And Z, that's the calcination process in which metal ore is heated in absence or the limited supply of oxygen. On the basis of this, first option is correct. No need to check other options because this is already correct. Now, let me mark here the correct answer for this particular question is option 1. I hope all the questions of chemistry section are clear to you and I also hope that you have attempted all these questions correctly. All the best for your results and thank you so much for watching.